Bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Look, look, it's going to be drinking, it's going to be smoking, it's going to be swearing. If you don't like those things, well, leave now. Here I come, look, look, and three, look, look, two, look, look, one, bang! Welcome everyone, my name is Shamar Clark, welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, the greatest show in the world, the greatest show in the multiverse. Yes, indeed. Now, yeah, so welcome back, welcome back, brothers, this week. Good to see you, glad to be with you again. All right, look, look, I know, I know. I wasn't even going to do this story, but then all you guys, even Stallion, <laughs> and then this other guy, were tweeting me and stuff. <clears throat> oh, I can't wait to see what Shamari says about this, because I had some good money stories to talk about, but we got to talk about it. So look, Swift. Yes. Look, look, Ripple Lovers. Swift instant remittance trial was a success. Bang! In 40 different corridors around the world. Look, look. You can fuck all that shit with XRP, boys. Look, look. Obsolete. We will talk about that. And then, let's talk about something that's not obsolete. V-Chain. Bang! Yes. They just fucking signed an MOU with the Republic of San Marino. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to help this place become emissionless. Become emissionless. I can't remember in how long, so we'll find out at the start. I can't remember if it was like five years or ten years or what their thing was. But look, we'll see. And look, look, brothers. <clears throat> and then we're going to hear from the CEO of BlackRock and what he thinks about crypto. Oh, yeah. Remember what he said last year? Not one of our customers, not one of our clients has come to me demanding crypto. Oh, wow. Well. This fucking tune's changing now, isn't it? Fucking tune's changing now, isn't it, homeboy? Look, look, and you know who BlackRock is. Yeah, yeah. BlackRock has two point something trillion dollars under management. Yeah, they're like a fidelity. Like, fidelity are the good boys of that world. You know, sock your mom and sock your dad. You know, come bring your kids. They'll give you a lollipop. We'll, sit. we'll, we'll do your assets for you. Yeah, BlackRock are like hardcore boys. <laughs> anyway, we'll get there when we get there. So, bang, let's begin. We begin, brothers. Boom, love to see you. Love being back with you. All right. Let's do how we do. Yeah, let's do our thing. Yes. Look, look. Let's do a little refresh. Boom. 10,084. All right. So over the weekend, it was just bouncing Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is 10,084. It was just bouncing between, right, like 10 and 10.5. Eh, just consolidating. Nothing exciting. All right. Look. Oh, let me get a little sip. Yeah. Look, look, top 10 of the day, brothers. Ooh, usual suspects of the day, brothers. Bang, top 10 of the day. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Binance Coin, Tether, EOS, Bitcoin, SV, and boom, Tron takes over the number 10 today. All right. And it's always a battle between Stellar, Tron, and Cardano, right? Let's look down there. Yeah, there they are, right? These three. And they're always battling it out for the number 10. All right. Look, look, market. <coughs> <coughs> oh, market moves of the day, brothers. Ah. Ah, single digits up to single digits down. Single digits up to single digits down. Single digits up to single digits down. Two single digits up. Two single digits down. All right. Now, nah, let's look who lost money today. If you see anything on here you like, go get it. It means it is on sale. Go get that shit. Look, look. Oh, it's some pretty decent sales. There's some double digits right here. Oh, look at Tron up here. Meow. Oh, there's that BitTorrent thing. Look, look. Well, let's read them. <laughs> top 10 lose the day, brothers. I'm like reading down the list. Just read the list. Look, look. Top 10 lose the day, brothers. Next, Tron, ABBC coin, Neo, BitTorrent, Nash Exchange, Ravencoin, Aurora, Hypercash, and Chainlink. Bang. Ooh, let's see who made money today. <laughs> Crypto.com, top 10 winners of the day, brothers. Crypto.com chain, Hedge Trade, Lisk, Monocoin, Bitcoin SV, Huobi Token, Quant, V Systems, Ardor, and Dai. Yes. Now let's check out the total mark cap. Total mark cap is 2275.9. That would be billions. 
275.9. And when I left you on Saturday, we were at 288.2. I'm told Mark Cap, so what was that? Down 13, uh, 13 billion over the weekend. Now, today's volume is 56.3 billion. And our volume on Saturday was 64.5. So that's a, uh, what is that? 18, sorry, $8 billion drop. All right, so <clears throat> in, uh, in volume today as compared to Saturday. All right, nothing, nothing, nothing really big is going on here. We're just, just wiggling around, consolidating. So look, let's begin. Yes. Bang! Yes! Swift catching up to Ripple in speed after instant remittance trial. Yes. Look, look, Ripple lovers. I don't even know what to say, really. We're just going to read this thing. Look, what you got to understand is Swift isn't a company, right? Like I've told you guys this a hundred times, and if you're new here, and you happen to be a Ripple lover, part of the Ripple army or the Ripple community or some stupid shit like that, Dark fuck. Right? Yeah, well, we're going to take over Swift. We're going to take over. Swift is not a company. Okay? It's not a company. It's not a, you know, it's not like, say, Microsoft or an Apple, you know? So Microsoft goes around trying to get companies to use their software, right? Or an Apple does the same. Swift is not that. Swift is a, it's built by the banks. It's a society. So let me show you a little something. Bang! You see what it says right here? Swift is a society for worldwide interbank financial telecommunications. It's not a company. It's built by banks. Like, why don't you go read? I always tell you guys, know your enemy. Know your enemy. If you're going to invest in something, well, you have to know that there are other players in that same space <clears throat> reaching for that same market share, you know, what's called market share. And uh, yeah, well, you think they're just going to lie down, right? You think they're just going to sit there and just not do anything so swift is a society do you see the words society okay it's not a company it's not some corporation it's built by the banks it was invented by the banks i mean just come here and fucking read the shit all right bang 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 right <laughs> just read it and you know there's its history the standards all of it and so you know it's built by them and so the banks trust it because it's built by them for them Right. And so, you know, I told you guys about my buddy, Marco. He does the um, networking for banks, computer networking. And he told me all about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I know. And I'm just telling you, Ripple Lover. So here we go. Watch. I'll just say this too, all that banking shit, just fuck all that. <laughs> just fuck all that. The banks are making their own stable coins and Swift is making their own is doing their own thing. Like you're not gonna get in. You're not gonna get into that party. Yeah, Shamari, but over three hundred banks are using RippleNet right now. Yeah, you're right, Ripple Lover. You're right. Over three hundred banks right now, as I speak, use RippleNet, <clears throat> which has two parts. The X current part and the X rapid part. X rapid is the part that uses the XRP. How many banks are using the X rapid part? 300 banks. How many of them are using the X rapid part? Zero. Doesn't that give you pause? If it's if it's going to save them all this money and stuff, why aren't they using it? They don't trust it. Banks don't trust that shit. They're not going to trust their 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 shit their their liquidity and stuff to some little crypto company but who will they trust <laughs> they're going to trust the thing they made <laughs> the society for worldwide interbank financial telecommunication yeah cuz they made it <clears throat> so look let's get on with the story <clears throat> look the walls are closing in can't you feel it jp morgan stablecoin Everyone else is coming, oh, a bunch of bigger banks come. Remember that one I read you about? 
What was it like some of the biggest banks in the world coming together with a stable coin? Now SWIFT. SWIFT is in all the banks in the world already. So all they're going to do, and I'm going to read it to you right here. Yeah, a bank just has to beep, bang, and there you go. Watch this. Oh, poor little women lovers. You better find something else to do with those XRPs. To tell you the truth, what I was thinking, <clears throat> those guys should just start use, uh, marketing XRP to video games. Yeah, so you could buy a, you could use XRP to buy a new gun in Call of Duty or something. Something like that, because in, in terms of you know, banking and shit, you can fuck all that. So look, the society for worldwide society, it's not a corporation, it's not a company, okay? It's not some company that, well, we're just going to compete and our product will beat their product. No, it's a society, Okay? The Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications. That's like ripple lovers. They don't understand shit. They don't know how the world works. Remember that one fucking fuck stick who was like, whoa, Shimori. Yeah, Ripple had a meeting with the IMF. Do you know what the IMF does, you moron? <laughs> they make little reports. Yeah, but when they also had a meeting at the World Bank. Yeah, do you know what the World Bank does? Yeah, little third world projects. You know, like, uh, you know, if there's girls in Afghanistan, the Taliban blew up their school. Yeah, well, the World Bank will go and build them a new school. It's not a bank, as in banking. A bank. <laughs> Morons. Ripple lovers don't understand how things work, right? So they tell me this shit. Well, we, we had a meeting with the IMF. We had a meeting with the World Bank. Yeah, those aren't legislative bodies. Those guys don't write laws or anything. They write papers, and that's it. And people can either read them and enact their, their suggestions or not. So look, look, the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications, SWIFT, announced a successful trial of instant cross-board transfers in Asia in a press release published on July 18th. Yes. That's it, baby. That's game over. That's a wrap, son. Per the release, the trial performed instant payments between 17 banks located in Australia, China, Canada, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Singapore, and Thailand, taking up to 25 seconds with the fastest taking 13 seconds. Now, where can Ripple transfer money to? Between the Philippines and Mexico. That's it. That's the only two places that uh, Ripple Labs has uh, what are called liquidity providers. Yeah, those are the only two countries. Did you know that? Yeah, I bet you didn't know that, did you, Ripple lovers? Nope. That's how it goes, brothers. It's even on Ripple's own website. I read it to you a couple weeks ago. I'd go check that out if I were you. So, but now as you can see, Swift, on the other hand, Australia, China, Canada, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Singapore, Thailand, yeah, worldwide. Look, the tests involve communication between Swift's global payment interface, the GPI. So that's the thing that they have. It's this new G, this thing, this GPI thing. Anyways, hold on. I'll read on first and then I'll talk. Instant payment platform and Singapore's domestic instant payment solution, fast. So Swift also explains that its GPI instant system uses existing payments infrastructure yeah the banks don't have to train their staff in some new thing or something right the, the, the banks already have swift so they just start using it the test involved <clears throat> oh we talked about that <clears throat> swift also explains that its gpi instant system uses existing payments infrastructure this is expected to result in lower adoption costs for in, 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 interested institutions the firm's head of banking, Harry Newman, commented, Swift envisages that cross-border payments will become as convenient as domestic transaction. And the successful testing across multiple corridors between Europe and North America to Asia Pacific confirms the important role that GPI Instant will play in making that bold vision a reality. That's it. Already, all the banks are on, on, the G, are on Swift already. So you now Swift tells them, yeah, just upload this GPI thing and have at it. As Cointelegraph reported in June, Swift will allow distributed ledger technology firms to use its GPI platform. Bang. That's it, brothers. So you see the difference. <clears throat> right? All you can do is send money with Ripple from uh, the Philippines to, to, and to Mexico. They used to have one from America to the Philippines and America to Mexico, but I haven't heard about that. Li Bittrex used to be one of the liquidity providers, but... I noticed it's not listed on their website anymore. Maybe that's just a mistake, but now that's it. 
<clears throat> and, uh, you know, and like I said, like banks aren't going to use, you know, they're not going to use, <clears throat> they're not using the X rapid thing. Ask yourself, little ripple lover. 300 banks use 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 um RippleNet. Yeah, not one, zero, not one bank is using the XRP thing. First of all, they can't. And even if they could, would they? No, they wouldn't. They're not going to trust their liquidity to some stupid little crypto company, which has 60% of that XRP thing in their own escrow account. <laughs> like, that's crazy, right? All right, so there it is, you know, know your enemy. Like I, always, I just used to always tell people, know your enemy. I mean, if you're invested in something, <clears throat> yeah, well, know who else is doing it, right? And what they're up to. So here's what Swift is up to, people. Huh. Ripple levers. Yes, the walls are closing in, right? The banks are coming out with their own stable coins. <clears throat> yeah, they want to use DLT, but they're not going to use some shit owned by some company. Yeah, they'll build their own. Right, own stable coins, or stuff like this. If you don't want to build your own stable coin, but you want to use DLT technology, you want to do this whole fast money transfer thing. Bang! All right, they're just gonna use Swift GPI. They're already on Swift's network, <laughs> right? They built Swift actually, so it's their thing. They're already on it, and so they're just gonna use the thing that they built. Ugh, you get it? All right. So look, look, know your enemy. Have fun, Ripple lovers. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bang now. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day, Ripple Lovers. Look, and I don't understand why Ripple Lovers are so crazed. Like, yeah, just just invest in some other shit, Foxtick. Like, well, I don't, what's your problem? Like, right, they get angry at people that talk bad about Ripple. Like, why don't you get angry at Garlinghouse and ask him, where are the fucking banks? Right, don't get angry at people that criticize Ripple. Get angry at, yeah, we don't have any banks. Right, all that other stuff Guarding House is doing, that's Fugazi, that's like Enron. Google this, Enron, the smartest guys in the room. Yeah, and we'll go watch that documentary, okay? Yeah, they fugazi everyone. Wall Street, everyone, they were on the, the cover of Forbes magazine, Times Men of the Year, all of this stuff. The company was a complete scam. Yeah, it was a complete scam. Hundreds of billions of dollars scam, right? And finally, one girl asked, uh, I'll tell you the story real quick. Yeah, they were scamming everybody, right? They were a big energy company. And uh, they were scamming everybody. And one girl asked, she's a reporter. Her name is Bethany McLean. She used to report for the New Yorker. And she wrote an article, and the article was very simple. How exactly does Enron make its money? Yeah, because she looked at the numbers. She looked at their financials. It didn't make sense. She's like, what are you talking about? How is this making money? Well, this part of their company, how does that make money? This part can't be making money because of this and this. And all these Wall Street guys, all of Wall Street, all the big dogs, they were like, who is this little girl, this stupid little girl? What is she talking about? Yeah, and then they started looking at the numbers. And then they were like, wait a minute, wait a minute. What the fuck? <laughs> wait a minute. She's right. How the fuck is this thing making money? So they kept on with Jeffrey Skilling, Jeffrey Skilling, right? And, you know, the, 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 the web of lies started to unravel slowly, right? Yeah, and then finally they had to declare bankruptcy and <laughs> they all went to jail and shit like this. Oh, you know what's funny? You know, Jeffrey Skilling, the founder of C, the, C, uh, the CEO of, of Enron, yeah, he just got out of jail a couple months ago. And guess what he's doing? He's starting a crypto company. An energy crypto thing. Yeah, Google Jeffrey Skilling Crypto. You'll see. You'll see. So, and that's what that's what this thing, that's what Ripple is. It's a scam. Ripple Labs is a company. They have a product called XCurrent, and it works really well. A lot of banks are using it. I told you, over 300 banks are using that thing. Every bank that tries it uses it. That that thing make, it, make a lot of money. And... You see, the, what, what Garlinghouse and them did, they just printed money. This thing, this XRP, and that's what's funding their whole lifestyles while they're building up this Ripple Labs, right? Garlinghouse always says, well, if Ripple Labs wasn't here, the Ripple Ledger would still be, would still be alive. Well, I have a better question. If, 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 if XRP wasn't here, would your Ripple Labs even be up and running? 
No, you got all that money from your cult members. And that's why you're flying around on private jets doing all these conferences and everything. And it's, it's the other way around. If XRP wasn't here, your little thing would never have gotten off the ground. All right. So anyways, man, I'm done with that. Ripple lovers, be careful. Pound little ripple lovers. Here comes Swift. All right. Well, what do you think? You know, it's a war. What do you think? The enemy has a, a say, too. The enemy's not just going to sit there and let you kill him. Look, all right, let's move on, though, to real money and real, actually, bang, you know, companies that are doing something. V-Chain, that are actually onboarding people. Yes. Deloitte, BMW, BYD, PricewaterhouseCoopers. Look, look. Oh, and Walmart. Not Walmart America. <laughs> Walmart China. Yes. Let's look at something that is actually doing something. Oh, and this is going to make you money, boys. Oh, you best fucking believe. When these fuckers finally do regulate this place, and they regulate these altcoins, and these the hedge fund, the big institutions can come in here and play around, look, look, brothers. You best believe this V-Chain is going to fly. It is going to make you rich. You shilling, dog. I'm not shilling. I'm not telling you to go buy it. I, I tell you, I don't tell you what to do with your money, but I do give you my opinion. My opinion is V-Chain is... The, the killer of killers in this space right now, <laughs> just in terms of how much money it's going to make you, right? It's too cheap and it's too successful. Yeah, put that together. What does that mean when these institutions get here? Bang! Your stuff is going to fly. Your V-Chain holdings yeah, are going to skyrocket. I mean, a lot of things are going to skyrocket, but I just think V-Chain is going to be more than the other ones. That's what I should say. Like, yeah, your IOTAs are going to skyrocket too. Yeah, but VeChain, because it's not even a penny, right? Oh, my gosh. It's going to be crazy. All right. Republic of San Marino signs MOU with blockchain platform VeChain. Oh, this is a cool. So this is an amazing little thing these guys want to do. First of all, I didn't even know there was a country called San Marino. <laughs> Look, I'm a Forex trader. I know every country. I know the capital city of most places that people don't even know there is a country. So I must admit... I had no idea there was a country called San Marino. Yeah, do you know where it is? Yeah, it's right above Italy. <laughs> yeah, Italy surrounds it, actually. It's kind of its, its own little republic. And then Italy, like, you know, Italy is a boot, you know, the boot. <clears throat> and then it goes up, and then it goes up here. Yeah, and San Marino is right inside sort of Italy. Ah, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Never heard of that. Never knew of that. So anyways, um, they've signed an MOU. That's a memorandum of understanding. So a memorandum of understanding, it's a contract saying um, you fulfill this and I will fulfill that. In other words, we have an understanding. You do this and then I will do that. Once this and this is complete, then I will do this and you will do that. You know, it's a, we have an understanding, <laughs> right? So, ugh. that's what an MOU is. Now, so, but they're also, are they legally binding? I'm not sure if they're legally binding, though. So, in other words, if someone doesn't fulfill their part of the contract, then it becomes null and void. But I don't think you can sue over it or something like that. I think is what an MOU, how it works. I used to have a girlfriend. She used to be a contract lawyer, actually. <laughs> she used to teach me all about this stuff. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Look, kids. If you're some kid l l l watching me, you want to get rich? You become a blockchain programmer. Or you become a fucking contract lawyer, son. Yeah, all these businesses, when they do deals, yeah, they need contract lawyers to, to write up the contracts for them. <laughs> Yo, dude, you know how much money you make contract law? Like that sexy stuff when you see in the courtrooms, like, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know, the criminal court, criminal law, you know, not guilty and all that. Fuck all that. You want to make money as a lawyer? Become a contract lawyer. <laughs> Every business needs one. Yeah, dog. Fuck. Or you really want to make money, become a legal accountant. You know what's good about a legal accountant? And here it is. I'll tell you a little secret. If you're going to start a business, don't get a regular accountant. Get a legal accountant. You know why? Because if you ever do anything bad, now I'm not saying you're a bad person, but if you ever do happen to do any shenanigans and get caught for it, well, guess what? When they want to subpoena your, fi subpoena your financial records, yeah, they can't subpoena them from a legal accountant. Why? He's also a lawyer. Yeah, so guess what? Anything you tell him, anything in his possession, guess what? 
It's covered under client attorney privilege. <laughs> you can subpoena my financial records all you want from that fucker. He's going to say sorry. Client attorney privilege. So always remember that. If you get a CPA, which is a regular accountant, if Johnny Law comes to get your financial records, the CPA has to turn it over. Sorry, I got a subpoena. I got to turn over the records. If you get a legal accountant, yeah. When the, when, the, when the government comes and says, hey, man, we need the financial records of your client, Shamari. Yeah, my lawyer is like, yeah? Well, you better go look somewhere else because you can go fuck yourself with all that. Client attorney privilege. You ain't getting them from here. <laughs> Bang! Look, look. So there's a little something for you to, <laughs> why do we get into all that from MOUs to legal accountants? But there's a little something, guys. If you're going to start your little company, especially once you get rich out of this stuff, a bunch of you are probably going to start some businesses and whatnot. Make sure you get yourself a legal accountant. Yes. That way no one can, it doesn't matter. The IRS can fucking subpoena that shit. Yeah, your accountant, go tell the IRS, go fuck yourself. <laughs> go fuck themselves. You take us to court for this shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's hardcore. So look, now it doesn't mean a judge can't order <laughs> later on, like while you're in trial. But at the beginning, for them to catch you, eh, they're going to have to find other ways to catch you. But anyways, look. The Republic of, so we're talking about V-Chain and San Marino. <laughs> this is a weird show. The Republic of San Marino has signed a Memorandum of Understanding, an MOU, with blockchain application platform V-Chain. Bang! Oh, and we talked about this. Government contracts, government contracts, they're the best. They're the best because they're guaranteed. Yeah, if they need to pay you your money, yeah, well, they just tax their citizens and give you your money, right? So, <laughs> per the agreement, the two entities aim to deploy blockchain technology to incentivize sustainable ecological behavior from citizens. So check this out. Um, local news agency Aska News reported on July 22nd. The MOU was signed between San Marino Secure Secretariat of Industry, Craft, Trade, Labor, Cooperation, and Telecommunications, Republic of San Marino Innovation Institute, SPA, Management Systems Certification Body, DNVGL, Business Assurance Group AS, and VChain Foundation. Bang! All right. So this is what the whole project is going to be. This country wants to become the first zero emissions country in the world. Yes. Yes, that's a good goal. That's a good goal. Uh, let's get the people together. Unite your citizens around a common goal. Yes, a common Thing, goal, all right. <laughs> You've already said it, goal. Yeah, it's goal. Look, so the, cooper the cooperation is part of San Marino's strategy to create and promote an ecosystem of technological innovation and facilitate digital transformation. The parties will work together to encourage citizens to adopt more environmentally friendly behavior that reduces carbonic acid gas emissions, saves water, and reduces waste. Bang! Well, that's the mission. So let's see how they're going to do it. So the program, this is how they're going to do it. The program would reward citizens with so-called San Marino Innovation Tokens issued by San Marino Innovation, which can subsequently be used to access services offered within the Republic. The tokens underlying blockchains, the tokens underlying blockchain technology will be based on VeChain Thor blockchain. Yes. Secretary Andrea said. So what they're doing is, so if you get, if you get, um, say you recycle, yeah, you're going to get paid in the San Marino tokens. And then with those tokens, yeah, you'll be able to do stuff. You know, like, I don't know, if you take the local bus or train system or whatever, you'll be able to use it. Or I don't know what, like just whatever government services and stuff, you'll be able to actually spend these tokens. So they're going to pay their people, you know, to eh, do stuff, you know, to be cleaner and stuff like that. So look. You know, environmentally friendly, that's the word. There we go, sorry. <laughs> we will give life to a project that will directly engage citizens and reward their sustainable behavior while also meeting the country's demands in regards to CO2 emissions reduction, water saving, and waste disposal and management. Our ambitious goal is to become the first zero emission country in the world. Good stuff, good stuff. Sergio Matola, president of San Marino Innovation, stressed that the program is a clear sign of the attractiveness generated by San Marino in regard to technological innovation. These are real projects that will soon provide tangible results. 
The MOU comes in the wake of a governmental decree on blockchain tech for businesses by the captain's regent of the Republic of San Marino, Nicola Selva, and Michelle Moratori in June. All right, bang. So that's it. The country is going to go to zero emissions, and they're going to use the VChain VThor blockchain to do so. Bang. So VChain just signed up a whole country onto their, uh, onto their blockchain. Look, look. Bang. What else can you say? Oh, all right. CEO of world's largest asset manager makes the case for crypto. The CEO of asset management giant BlackRock said there's a huge need for emerging technologies like cryptocurrency. In a new interview with CNBC, Larry Finn says the concept of Libra and cryptocurrency fills a gap that's so sorely needed for people who move money across borders. I was in Europe this past week. I had to buy a new briefcase because mine broke. And when I was going to sign the receipt, it asked me if I wanted to pay in euros or dollar. And I chose dollar. Then I looked at it. I'm still being charged 3%. When you think about all the people who may work in one country and send money back home, they generally do that through organizations that charge 5% to 10%. There is a need, whether it's Libra or something else, to democratize the exchange of foreign currencies. Today, with computers in the electronic market, it should be 10 basis points, 5 basis points. Um, I don't believe we need an international currency, but there is a huge need to bring down the fees. Back in April, Forbes reported that BlackRock hired former Ripple product marketer Robbie Michnik and announced a massive management overhaul to focus on alternative investments. The company is exploring the potential of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, but has not confirmed whether it plans to offer crypto assets to its customers. Wait a minute. I thought there was more to this. All right. Well, what the fuck did I even... What was that for then? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a second. Shit. It's the wrong article. I have another article. And so, blah, blah, blah. He, you know... So, the thing is, he used to say last year, the guy, the BlackRock CEO, he used to say last year that, oh, well, not one of my... Not one of our clients is even asking for crypto. Yeah, and now he's saying, yeah, 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 this could be, well, I mean, that was a cross-border payments thing but that he just said that I just read to you. But actually, there's another article I have. And yeah, man, they're going to, you know, they're looking hard at crypto now. No, that's a bummer. I, I wanted to show you the other one, the other article. Well, look, look, that's enough, man. I've talked enough. Anyway, let's get you back to what? Uh, oh, boom. Let's do shout outs first. Bang. Look, look. Let's gather everyone together. Let's refresh. Wait. What the shit? What just happened to my screen? Why does it look like this? What? Did they change how it looks now? All right. Well. Look, look. See, and so that's why I did this story because blockchain stallion. <laughs> Looming question, XRP is security? Trying to become a payments remittance system? Oh boy, I can't wait until CB News get up tonight. <laughs> With some kisses. Yes, sweetie. Yes. Kisses for me. Look, look. So is it a security? If you're a Ripple lover, you better hope that the government here says it's the, 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 the judge in the case here in California. So Ripple right now, if you don't under if you don't understand what I'm talking about, Ripple right now is is in court. There's a class action lawsuit against Ripple saying it's a security. And you see, if it's labeled not a security, then you Ripple holders, yeah, you have no stake in Ripple Labs. I don't know why Ripple lovers they they're always like, yeah, it's not a security. You want it to be a security, motherfucker. So that means you have stake in the success of Ripple Labs, right? It'd be like owning a Facebook share, but Facebook saying, well, you don't have any stake in our company. Well, then why do you own the Facebook shares? <laughs> Dumbass. So look, Ripple lovers. Smarten up. Look, look, but let's get the shout outs. Fuck all you guys. I'm done with you guys now. Blockchain style. See you, sweetie. Love you, sweetie. Yes. Bye. Master Barber, oh, and he 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 sent me this too. <laughs> Bang, brother. 
Love you, brother. Yes, Master Barber, he sends some good shit sometimes. I know, guy. The Iran thing. See, I was going to, I have, I, there were so many stories. I'm going to talk to you guys about, don't worry, we'll get in, I don't know, we might talk about the Iran thing later, but I'll, I'll at least mention it, though. Ne like, maybe tomorrow or something. All right. Whoops, what happened there? DP Entertainment, see you, brother, love you, brother. Bye. Here we got Barks, Burke. Oh, yeah, this guy. Barks, big drops. Bang, bang. Love you, brother. Bang. Look at this, son of a bitch. What? You see? What's going on here? Why is Twitter Twitter changed this thing? Anyways, you still get bang. Look, look, bang. Look, look, bang. You still can't escape. Poppy Wood. Love you, brother. Bang. You see, it's not showing people's pictures back there. Hold on. Let me just do a quick refresh. What's wrong with this thing? Hold on. Hold on. Let me do something here. Close it. Do this. Shit. Hold on. Sorry, guys. One second. Mm -hmm. It's acting weird. Oh, we're still at this again? All right. All right. Well, all right. Let's just do the shout outs and I'll figure this out tomorrow. Look, look. Freeman. Whoops. Where do we go here? Freeman. Bang! See you, brother. All right, fuck all that. Rob Ert. <laughs> this Rob Ert guy. Bang! See you, brother. Here's moon landing. Bang! See you, brother. Oh, man. I'm going to hear it from the Ripple Lovers tonight in the comments. Brent C. Bang! The undercover. <laughs> Our CIA agent, crypto lady. Bang! See you, Brent. Love you, girl. Bang. Buttonwood.ca. Bang. See you. Here's our brother, Biniam. Biniam. Bang. See you, brother. Look, look, Ryan. Bang. See you, brother. Ballot. Bang. What does that say? Love, science, art, philosophy. Yes, and he's got some Arabic writing in. Yes, yes. Quite the Renaissance man. Yes. Bang. See you, brother. <clears throat> Learn Bitcoin retweeted your tweet. Bang! Art certification on blockchain. Wallet, what does it say? Wallet bit share Zorg. Okay, bang! See you, brother. All right, that's good enough. Oh, there's Kong. Yeah, but I don't even get to see Kong's picture, see? See? Ugh. Love you, brother. Bang! Ed. Bang! Why is it doing this? All right, let's get you back to your wives and lives. Oh, shit, hold on, I got to do this thing first. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on, I got to do this thing here. Twitter just got lots of new features. Oh, you see? Oh, all right, uh, we'll do this. You know, Obviously, I'm not going to do this while I'm talking to you guys. So look, look. Hey, look, look. First of all, just fuck off with all that. Let's just do this. Where's my logo? Oh, there it is. All right, look, man. Let's just get you back. Let's just... Bang! Let's just get here. Fuck, fuck. Twitter just right in the middle of the show just changed everything right there. Can't even see everyone's pictures. Look, look, though. Bang! Here I am. Look, look. So we had a great show for you today. Swift Instance Remittance Trial. So, yeah, man. So all that banking shit, you know, I mean, Stellar's still in the game a little bit. You know, the World Wire thing is happening and they have... 40 liquidity providers already and like i said with stellar it's a little different because Stellar's the platform right it's not like xrp where xrp is is the liquidity yeah the xlm tokens the stellar tokens aren't the liquidity it's the platform itself that the tokens are going to run off of over right stellar is the platform and then the banks are going to run their jpm coin or whatever coin bank of america coin over the stellar network so i mean but still you know think about it you know like you know you guys know i'm a stellar hodler and um you know so i'm thinking about it but i mean stellar also just has um they just came out with their distributed exchange and they have other stuff they're not just this moving money thing and so you know i must admit i don't think they're gonna you know, i don't think the money part of their company is going to be very successful but they have other revenue streams revenue generating products in their stable you know so that's what's good um, and yeah, man, like Swift is the killer, you know, Swift is built by the banks, 
it's made by the banks. You know, it's it's a society. It's not a company. <laughs> you know, I don't think people get that. And the banks aren't going to trust anything else, you know, too intimately into their systems. You know, like, yeah, you know what I mean? They don't, you know, that whole thing about moving money in 15 seconds, 25 seconds and shit, banks don't care about that. Their clients don't care about that. You know, that's just some, I don't even know what that is, but. Anyways, know your enemy. And Ripple Lovers, you better know your enemy. Your enemy's a big old monster. And here he comes. Look! And let's get real. You really can't defeat it. <laughs> so just get over that. XRP is not going to be used for transferring money worldwide by major banks anytime soon. It's obsolete. All right, now, the Republic of San Marino signs an MOU with VeChain. Let's talk about something that's not obsolete. Bang! VeChain. Holy... They just sewed up a whole country. So the whole country. So they're going to pay people to do environmentally friendly stuff, right? The, 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 but they, they wanted zero emissions, cleaner water, and some other thing, right? So, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, they're going to just pay people those, what were they called, San Marino coins. And you'll be able to, so by doing, being a good citizen and being emission free, you're going to get paid yeah, man. Yeah, you're going to get paid to do stuff. like, uh, And then those tokens will be able to be used for things in your country. You know, uh, I don't know. Maybe there's a ferry that goes from one city to another, you know, across the water. Maybe you can pay in San Marino tokens. Or there's a, I don't know, like a a park or something. And you can pay in San Marino tokens. Or I don't know what. But anyways, but the point is, it's a whole country. Bang, it's going to run on V-Chain Thor. Yes, whole country. All right, so that's great. I'm the CEO of BlackRock and Crypto. BlackRock and Crypto. It's my fault. I picked the wrong story. So my bad on that. Because what he said was, in the story I wanted to read you, he's all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're looking into into getting our clients into it. BlackRock is a hedge fund. And they're an asset manager. They have 2.5. I think $2.5 trillion under management. Trillion, yes, with a T, with a T, yes. And so Fidelity is like the soccer mom and soccer dad uh, asset managers. You know, hi, this is good for your 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 family. and your, Yeah, BlackRock, they're more like rebels. You know, they're like, look, look, we'll make you fucking money, dog. <laughs> right? Like that. And uh, so, yeah, now he says he's getting into crypto. Just believe me, man. I, I had another article, and that's what he said. And I'll even have to probably bring it up tomorrow just to prove that he said it because now I feel stupid. I picked the wrong one. All right, guys. So let's chill it and kill it. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. Bang. Oh, I banged that one right out of my hand. Oh, that bang was strong. <laughs> yes, the recoil on that bang was severe. <laughs> look, look, brothers. Subscribe below, press the bell. You get automatic notification when I do this show. Look, look. My name is Shamar Clark. Love talking money. Love talking crypto. Yes, this is the favorite time of my day. And I got so much more to talk to you guys about tomorrow. Fuck, I could have done two shows tonight, man, to tell you the truth. But look, yeah, can't hold you hostage like that. So, <laughs> well, keep it respectable. So, look, look, my name's Shamar Clark. Bag, I'm always on duty. Look, look. Love you guys. Over and out.